up in the mansion, they know it that huh? I got some that's up in the jutting, they know it that huh? I came on top of the building, yeah, my we had a plan. We came on top of the building, yeah, my we never ran. Down there, thought, thought that I had a fan. Oh, hey, any 10 o'clock, got a flight out, yeah, I'm going back out to Japan. I got two Billy truck and a bitch door when it land. Bruce Wayne, I'm Batman. Batman, I'm best man. I got my best man. I got my... I go to hotels when I step out, yeah, your boy got a doorman. I go to nightclubs with a... Yeah, they call me the madman. I ain't no madman. I just go crazy, man. Ball hard, can't face, man. Choppers, rip wasteland. This what happen when you give it a taste life, then you give it a wasteland. This what happen when you give it a fake life, then them the ape in. I live with birds, man. As long as I got seats in there. Hey, I'm on your turf again. Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. Coming up, fourth-year quarterback Jameis Winston and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they face off with Ryan Tannehill and the Miami Dolphins. Thank you, Coach. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Tonight, it's a preseason matchup between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Miami Dolphins. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. And we get a look at a man in his fourth season already at the controls of the Bucks offense. From Florida State, it's Jameis Winston. And there's little doubt that he's looking for a big-time bounce-back season in 2018. Everyone expected a big year in 2017. But the team won just three times in his 13 starts. Some of that, you got to put on their defense. They struggled, but there are too many inopportune turnovers that continue to plague him. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Pretty lucky to get the football back. Had his target out there waving the arms, saying, I'm open, but maybe you didn't see him quick enough. And I know the jokes are always about defensive back's hands. What really actually happens, you don't get many opportunities. You get over anxious, and you start to think about taking it away and going the other way instead of focusing and catching the ball. That throw good for only a couple and brings up third down. And let's run through the Dolphins' defense. As we shine the spotlight on T.J. McDonald, I see him as a prototypical old-school strong safety. In the box, run enforcer, doesn't play as well in coverage, although he can do it at times, but at his best against the run game. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Tight in right, tight in right. Hey, let's go, let's go. From the gun, Winston. He's going to wind up and air it out. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. That's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. Now that's a great opening series defensively. You force what should be a three and out on your opening possession. And great coverage there on third down to force the incompletion to set up fourth. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Back deep, Danny Amendola. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be Dolphin football. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. They will be led out by their seventh-year quarterback from Texas A&M, Ryan Tannehill. Unfortunate for Ryan Tannehill as the improvement was starting to develop in the NFL. Two knee injuries in the last two seasons. The second one cost him all of 2017. Right now, if you watch the Dolphins, you believe as Ryan Tannehill goes, so do the Dolphins. Here's Tannehill. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he's brought down after a good game. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Four down, four down. Ten. 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 A first carry for 
Kenyon Drake. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Stop made there by Gerald McCoy. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line. Hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. They stay on the ground with Drake. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Footing's definitely going to be an issue because it's tough to make those quick cuts that you're used to making on a soggy track. In fact, the Hall of Fame runner once told me, cut on your heels in this type of weather. Gives you better balance. The line to gain is a 33 on third down. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. He dumps it off to Drake. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. It'll be a three-yard gain, and that's going to make it fourth down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Jason Sanders now for the Miami field goal. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. I tell you, it's not easy kicking field goals in the best of conditions. Yet in a downpour like we're in right now, it makes it that much harder. And sure enough, they can't convert here. Ready for that. A first down throw for Winston. And that is incomplete here. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you've been overly critical there. You're just analyzing it. And okay. he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. And his pass incomplete. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. Let's go, let's go. On third down, Winston. And he's got a man. It's the tight end, Howard, complete. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. Now Winston. He's got his tight end over the middle, O.J. Howard. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice gain right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets them a new set of downs. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up the first down. Keep the sticks moving. That incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. Not only did they drop what looked like an interception in the end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. Ready? Play that on second down, Winston again. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And able to get this down inside the 15 to either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Let's go. It's time to play. And he'll go on the ground. And now running right through it. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. 
And Catanzaro's kick is right through. And the Bucks take a 3-0 lead. And before we can get to the field goal try, time will run out on this first quarter of play. 3-0 is our score. And we'll be back to South Florida after this. Back here with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon.